I was wondering if I could build a a stable multivibrator using IGBTs. And this is the circuit that I came up with. And this is the build. And it took a little while to figure out. So I thought I'd show you how this works. I'm going to start with if you take a look in the center, the 10K resistor, I'm going to start there. And then I'm going to parallel that 10K with another 10K. And then I'm going to change that to this, a 1K in parallel with a 10K. And we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm going to turn on power now, 9 volts. And I've just got 10K in there right now. And let's see if I can't put another 10K in parallel with that. There we go. And you can clearly see that it's running faster. put a 1K in parallel with that 10K. And of course it runs the fastest back and forth. Back to 10K. As we saw in the video, with this configuration, just the 10K ohm resistor, it flip-flopped back and forth slowly, or the slowest, and then when I paralleled two 10Ks together, it was faster. And then the 1K and the 10K was the fastest of all. Now when this left side is on, Let's start on this side. We have to start somewhere. You can think of the IGBTs like this. We've got the left one is pretty much just a wire when the left side is on. And the other side is pretty much not there. So what that does is we have a positive path to the left side capacitor. Now when this is running, that notice that the positive goes up to the 100K resistor. Now that is what turns on the left side when this thing is running, that pulse. Now the capacitor is charging, and here's the charge path for this. You can see it goes up through our 10K ohm resistor, then down through a 100K ohm resistor, up and around, and then down to ground. Now when the left capacitor is charged up enough, it will actually turn the left side off. And when that happens, we have this situation. The right side is on, and you can see that you can just consider the right IGBT as a wire, and now the left one really is, it's off all the way, like it's not even in the circuit. Now, that positive pulse 
you can see came down and up the 100k ohm resistor and that is what turned on the right IGBT. Okay, now the right 100 microfarad capacitor is charging and here is its charge path. It goes up through the 10k ohm resistor over and down through the 100k ohm resistor on the left side up and around and then down to ground. And when it charges up negative enough, it turns off the right side, the right IGBT. And now we're back to the left side again. And we start all over again. And I've just got 10K in there right now. Thanks for watching.